What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, first of all, I apologize for the construction going on. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's very loud in here, so I hope you can't hear it. Um, if you can, I'm sorry. So today I'm doing an updated beach wave routine. Oh God, it was my first video that I ever did. Please don't go watch it. Now I know you're gonna go watch it. Please don't. <laughs> So embarrassing. Um, so yeah, I get asked a lot of my videos, how do you curl your hair? How do you use your wand? You know, just show us your routine. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just gonna show you my updated beach waves routine. In this routine, I'm gonna be using my just basic chi iron and my Conair wand that is 100 years old. Seriously, it is so old, I need to get a new one because I feel like any moment it's gonna go out, probably at the most inconvenient time. Isn't that how that always works? And I'm not using many products today just because I feel like with the beach wave, you want it to be as natural looking as possible. Um, so at least for my texture of hair, I don't need a whole lot of product. I really just need like an anti-frizz product as you'll be able to tell in a second. So let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, so to start off, we are going to step into a judgment-free zone while I take my hair down <laughs> because I was super lazy last night and I kind of halfway blow dried my hair because I am trying to grow my hair out and I'm trying to put as little heat on it as possible. So I'm just kind of like barely going with the cool setting to blow dry my hair. So it's really frizzy and it's kind of, I don't know. There's not much you can do about it. So, hello, this is happening. Okay, I don't even know what this is gonna look like in HD up close. Yep, okay. So I'm just gonna start with the bangs because I feel like that's gonna be just an easier demonstration rather than trying to reach around and show you what I'm doing in the back. So what I'm going to do is basically take a chunk of hair and I'm gonna take my straightener and barely go over the ends like just to where they're a little bit straight and all the frizzies are taken out because lord knows I have some frizzies. Then you're gonna grab a piece, I would say maybe like an inch, and you're just going, oh, sink down in my chair. <laughs> and you're just gonna wrap it around the top of the wand and you're not gonna go all the way down. You're not gonna wrap the whole piece of hair around the barrel and you're just gonna slide up and down, make sure to not get the end of the hair around the barrel, we want that to stay straight. And then, boom, wave. And repeat. The key really is to making sure that the end stays straight and not curled because then that defeats the whole purpose of an actual wave versus a curl. So now that that is cool, you're just gonna run your fingers through. We're gonna move over to this side. I don't really know what this fully looks like because I'm using my camera as a mirror, so <laughs> not sure what's going on up close. When it went down, it was so hard to breathe. I gave up everything in the slow fall down to the floor. Life was escaping me. I couldn't find myself till it was all lost, not anymore. So now we can run our hands through. So now that that's done, I'm going to go in with my one and only product that I'm using, which is the Chi Silk Infusion. This I got, I don't even know, I think I maybe got this in my birch box, but it's a tiny little sample and I'm almost out, so I'm gonna have to get more. Um, but it's actually for your hair and your skin, which I will not be using it on my skin because I think it just screams breakout for me, so I'm just gonna use it on my hair. This basically just like makes your hair chill out and not be super frizzy and crazy like mine can get sometimes. I'm just gonna pour about like a penny size on my hand, and I'm just gonna go over my ends. That smells delicious. Now if you already have really fine silky hair, then you might just wanna skip this process because then I'm afraid it might make your hair look a little bit greasy. Um, but for those of us with super dry, 
<laughs> hair that you know our ends can get a little out of control this is like the perfect product to use so now that I'm done with that I'm actually gonna go back in with my curling iron and grab just kind of small pieces around my head to recurl and this time I'm gonna do a tighter curl rather than a wave um, I feel like that makes it look a little bit more natural because all of my waves are the same size right now so I want to add a few curls in the middle to make it a little bit messier so I'm just gonna kind of flip my hair over and do some underneath to start so you're gonna do the same process you're just gonna wrap it a little bit tighter around to make a little more of a tighter curl beach wavy tutorial um, I hope you enjoyed it and just a quick tip you know this you do not learn how to use in one day so for those of you who are switching from a curling iron to this is still hot I should not be doing this so for those of you who are switching from a curling iron to a wand um, be patient it is not a one step learning process it definitely takes practice I remember my switch I had blisters and burns all over my hands for the first week that I had my wand. <laughs> but once you get the hang of it, I promise, I promise, promise you're going to love it so much. Just stick with it and you will get it, I promise. And I will put a list of products that I used, <laughs> all three of them, in the description box below so you can go check those out. And don't forget to sign up for updates for Her Life if you don't know about Her Life. Um, I will post a link to my vlog down below where I'm talking about it so you don't want to miss out on those updates. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. I will post my handles right here so you can find me on those. Why am I so awkward? Alright, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.